Hi there! I want to show you how to quickly set up your Twilight 2000 battle maps for hex grids inside Foundry and also how to make them modular so that you can combine several battle maps together on the fly while game mastering just as you would have when role playing in the physical copy of the game. Let's dive into it. I could um, start with uh, one of the battle maps, uh, uh, like the battle map uh, 10 here, that still is um, using the default settings. Uh, you have the basic tab, you have the grid tab, lighting and ambience as regular. And uh, if you enter this um, grid tool here, using this icon. You can uh, use the hotkeys um, Alt, uh, Mouse Wheel and Shift, Mouse Wheel and Arrow Keys to uh, try to align the, this grid to the battle map. As you see, the default setting isn't really matching up with the printed hex grids. And they are also in uh, squares instead of hexes. And this relies on this settings grid type, which you can have gridless, squared, hexagonal odd even and columns odd and even and i found that uh, columns odd is what best matches the printed hex and if you simply change the grid size to 100 it aligns almost perfectly in heights with five uh, subsets of grids to each printed grid you just have to tweak them horizontally and that you can do with the arrow keys like this i just tabbed the left arrow a couple of times and you see the lines all the way through to the bottom and since you have um, five subsets of uh, hex grids let's click save yes you can have uh, each sub hex representing two meters and thus uh, being 10 meters uh, in total for the larger hex so that the um, calculations and measurement tools uh, works as intended and click save and uh, therefore, if I take a token here and drag it on, I find it much easier to have smaller tokens to um, represent where they are inside each larger hex. And when I take the measurement tool, it works fine uh, for each subset of hexes as well. Another tip I wanted to share is to use um, the scene tiler, which you find uh, in this address. I can link it in the card here in YouTube. This uh, enables us to drag and drop scenes onto a larger scene and uh, still let each scene keep their settings for walls and um, whatnot when I combine them. So here I have a, a larger ball map, which I've used uh, for uh, session here now. You can see it's really large. I think I have some characters here in uh, there. And if I enter the wall settings here, you can see they each have the wall settings kept. Being represented as tiles here, so uh, I can use the tile icon to select this tile and right click to toggle unlock state so I can delete it and drag drop in another one yes. and just drag and drop it in here and I'll try to align them so but when you enter the wall menu here you can see that this tile doesn't have any walls represented on it. That's because it isn't locked yet. So if I go back to the tile control 
right click on this tile and toggle lock state it will uh, populate each wall it has on the, its uh, parent scene and here you can see all the walls being populated on this tile this makes um, it much easier to create large bell maps using uh, modular bell maps uh, on the fly but without having to prepare the whole encounter before the session those are my two quick tips for using bell maps in foundry over and out <laughs>